Claire Redfield. Hey, Leon Kennedy. With zombies and other bioweapons stalking every hallway, guns are extremely important to the Resident Evil series. As the follow-up to the spin-off Umbrella Chronicles, Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles focuses on shooting everything that comes at you using the Wii Remote. And ammo has never been more plentiful. Trouser, their heads! Aim for their heads! <laughs> the alarm sounded and the door unlocked. I thought that I... Rockford <sighs> Prison, Tiny 267. <laughs> Guess you're not with Umbrella then, are you? Dark Side Chronicles is predominantly a retelling of events from previous chapters in Resident Evil history. The bulk of the game takes place in Resident Evil 2 and Code Veronica, recapping previous events from a new perspective. With additional scenes and tidbits, fans will definitely find interesting. But it's not all rehash. A new scenario taking place in South America fills in what Leon Kennedy was doing before Resident Evil 4. Javier Hidalgo, a man equally famous for his extravagant lifestyle. The dialogue and storytelling might not be the best, but the setting and dramatic events have a certain grotesque appeal. That's not supposed to happen! Well, okay. Dark Side Chronicles moves you through its story linearly, with each chunk split into several individual missions that can be replayed as you like. You're graded on your performance after each mission in various categories, and collectibles you find in the environment are converted into bonus items you can view under the Archives option. You're also able to upgrade weapons in various categories, such as damage and capacity for better performance. Since you can accumulate cash to upgrade your weapons by replaying missions, Dark Side Chronicles gives you a nice incentive to replay your favorite ones, or attempt co-op runs with a friend. You'll need some degree of commitment for multiplayer, however. Players can't drop in and out during a mission, and since you share the same weapons locker, you'll have to make sure they don't waste all the ammo you've hoarded. Despite being heavily scripted, Dark Side Chronicles is long for a light gun game. Expect a typical playthrough to clock in at 10 or 12 hours. There are lots of stages, even if many of them feel very similar to each other. Certain stages also include a few branching paths, and your experience is slightly different based on what character you've chosen. Can you get up? Leon, behind you! When it comes to death, the game is fairly forgiving. You can always continue from your last checkpoint with the same ammo count and healing items you had at that time. If you've still got the will to fight, you'll never lose too much progress. Just another one of Umbrella's failed experiments. <laughs> Dark Side Chronicles can trace its ancestry directly to arcade light gun games. You essentially play the role of your character's hands and trigger finger, while the person you're attached to moves through a level filled with genetically engineered threats. It's coming! You're able to switch between the four weapons you have equipped at any given time. Press the A button to pick up items like gold bars and life-giving green herbs, and bring out the knife every once in a while. The basic rule still sticks though, shoot him in the head. The cursor will tighten up to indicate when you're lined up for a dome-shattering blast, and if your aim is true, you'll be rewarded with extra points. The game's first-person shaky cam style sets you up for suspense and surprises, but it'll also make you feel like you're being jerked around, which makes it hard to aim. Anyone here? Since you don't know where you're going, you'll have to constantly adjust your sights and accept that you're merely along for the ride. The amounts of frustration and excitement you experience will vary. You'll feel like you're really there, just not fully in control. <laughs> Different types of enemies can require slightly different strategies, and they do get more challenging as you progress through the game. Expect zombies with protective headgear, and new and improved monsters with trickier attack patterns. Still, there's nothing in the game that the infinite bullets from the default pistol can't eventually dispatch, and strategy is mostly a matter of saving the better ammo for the bigger baddies. Of course, if you're looking for the bonus goods, you'll end up doing plenty of damage to your environment in search of some glittering gold. Weapon upgrades do an appreciable difference in gameplay, and your arsenal gradually grows as you get further in the game. You can grind for cash if you like, but most weapons are useful enough without any investment. There are a few duds, but you'll do well enough if you focus on your favorites. Boss fights, however, abide by different rules. Pouring on raw damage will never be enough in these burly encounters. You'll need good timing and a steady aim to hit the boss's weak spots when they attack. 
This can sometimes turn into a trial and error game of memorizing patterns, but because the game always offers you another chance, you'll get it eventually. You're only playing dead! <laughs> September 1998, my first and only day as a police officer. Dark Side Chronicles looks and feels like a Resident Evil game. The graphics may be a little grainy, but the game is atmospheric, its environments are packed with detail, and it succeeds in conveying horror and shock with memorable scenes and fairly high quality special effects. The erratic camera adds to the sense of immersion, although it may give you a bit of a headache from time to time. Cutscenes appear very frequently and are done well and worth watching, even if the images aren't completely crisp. Voice acting is nowhere near as laughable as it's been in past Resident Evil games, but you can certainly expect a little bit of cheese to creep in, along with The Walking Dead. Our great river will watch you as you dream until Leon. The latest Resident Evil spin-off is full of nostalgia and insight for dedicated fans, and it will provide anyone who isn't a zombie sympathizer plenty of 10 to 20 minute chunks of simple but satisfying light gun shooting. It's disappointing that the game does so little that's new, and you're basically at the mercy of the overactive camera the entire time, but Dark Side Chronicles is further evidence that the slightly dated genre of light gun games can thrive under the right circumstances. William, I'm sorry. Got to put an end to G. 